And here we are in the middle of May of 2020. And with the current uh, pandemic has become a need for the old uh, cold wall programmers. Uh, some of you out there may be the relevant mainframe dinosaurs out there. Um, and what I'm going to show you here is going into, uh, if you want to refresh yourself, uh, you can utilize on your uh, PCs with your Windows 10 to uh, kind of test and edit some old uh, some COBOL just to kind of get re-familiar once again with it. Um, the link up over here we can see up on there is launchpad.net cold side plus milestone 4.7.6 and that will bring you to this um, page on the internet and it's open COBOL 4.7.6 and you just need to go down over here and for your Windows installer and you click on this one open to download it after you download it you go ahead and run it to uh, install it after you've installed it of course the icon will be on your um, uh, desktop or you can start the program and once you start the program it's going to go up over here and it's going to show Open Cobalt IDE and uh, hit Welcome to Open Cobalt. Now I kind of created this. It doesn't come with any uh, uh, files or anything, but uh, just to give you a quick example of it, uh, I, I made this one here and you can probably find some uh, simple sample programs or just kind of experiment with it. But anyway, we're going to click this one to go ahead and open the file and then you get into this uh, particular IDE and uh, these these lines here are just uh, specific uh, uh, indentations or parts so if you get in this area between here and let's say where the asterisk is you can put uh, numbers inside that was the old uh, format now the you see where these asterisks are up over here that is the uh, remark uh, section so if there's something in there that indicates that the whole line is a remark um, there are uh, a few uh, required uh, portions of a program and that's all this is really showing in the uh, basic uh, situation you have to have an identification division yeah, I usually put a program ID you're gonna sit there in this one case it's just called sample one you have a data division and a file section underneath that along with a working storage section underneath the data division and then you have a procedure division and this is where the um, real work of the program comes and this particular one it's using uh, it just uses basic English and COBOL I'm sure you'll research that or you may remember and I'm just gonna sit here and say hello world and then it's gonna stop the program and that will be the end of it and then the last line over here so very simple uh, sample program if you go up over here and click this part here it says run the current editor program we're gonna go ahead and do that it's going to go ahead and compile and then you see down over here it's giving us the output and so that it, it, you can uh, test your uh, code inside of the environment here and uh, save and go as you need to uh, so that's it in a nutshell but if you're going to get into the uh, mainframe COBOL stuff believe it or not about 48% of business and uh, financial organizations still use COBOL. But COBOL generally does not do everything by itself. If you're going to be on the mainframe environment, you're going to need to also know DB2, JCL, and understand about uh, VSAM files and all. And, uh, you know, there's some more things to it, but obviously you're going to need to write uh, COBOL to uh, process the stuff but uh, all of those are an understanding is is going to be required to be uh, able to work in it but hopefully uh, us old mainframers that's including myself will be able to get back into the forefront of things uh, of course uh, co whole ball is well I think it's getting close to uh, 60 70 years old now <laughs> but it's uh, been out there it works very well um, and anyway I hope that you find this info you can get into the open cobalt IDE and 
and uh, that'll be that. Have a great day.